I recently spent a month in South Africa at an AIDS orphanage, which was an unbelievable experience. But most of my friends feel that one short trip can't really make a difference, and a lot of their parents won't let them visit third world countries due to the crime, disease, etc. How do you think these attitudes can be changed? One of the things that I think we've learned is that Americans typically go off um, um, to an orphanage in South Africa or, you know, build homes in in Ecuador or whatever it may be, thinking, you know, intending to, wanting to help other people. And in truth, helping people, helping other people is always harder than it looks, and those efforts have a somewhat mixed record, but I think they have an almost perfect record in helping ourselves. And so, you know, without knowing anything more about your experience, um, my hunch is that you managed to help some AIDS orphans in South Africa but probably pretty marginally for one summer. But I bet it had an absolutely transformative effect upon you and that those AIDS orphans ended up helping you probably a lot more than you ended up helping them. Well, that was definitely true for me and that's what I found. Um, I found that I had not had as much of an effect on them as they had on me. And so when I got back, I decided to create a calendar using the photos of the children that I took, which I sold for $25 each and managed to raise $15,000, which I then sent back to the orphanage and they used it to build a garage there. Educated by AIDS orphans in South Africa. And yeah, I mean, I think that that, um, so, um, you know, a summer is, it, if the question is, you know, is a summer too short a time to really have a transformative effect on um, AIDS orphans or whomever? Yeah, maybe. Is it too short a time to have a transformative effect on some American kid going over there? Not at all. And um, um, how one deals with with parents um, who are understandably concerned about their kids, I mean, you know, that that's a real... Um, uh, problem. I one thing I would say is that I think that um, uh, American girls tend to um, tend to often think, well, travel in Latin America or Asia or Africa. That's something guys can do, but it's too scary for girls. And I think that's just a misperception. It's not clear to me that it's any more dangerous for girls in practice um, to travel than for guys and it's not you know uh, Australians and and New Zealanders young people travel uh, in the developing world all the time and there isn't that perception among them that it's more dangerous for young women this is really kind of an American perception and I um, you know I fear that that kind of self-imposed uh, restriction ends up keeping young women away from experiences that would be completely transformative. Um, uh, and there are enough, you know, there are enough constraints we have in our lives that we don't need to impose our own upon ourselves.